Chatterbox is here with 2008 Olympian and pro boxer Sean Estrada, who's fighting this Saturday in Studio City. Sean, I'd like to know, you've had some ups and downs in your career. Tell us what's new with you. Uh, 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 we're going to get that out of our vocabulary of all the downs. I mean, with the injuries and stuff like that and, and uh, weight issues. But uh, now that I'm back on track, I, I have a new uh, trainer, Joe Goosen. And, uh, and, uh, you know, disciplines there and, and making that commitment to myself and then uh, you know, working every day in the gym and, and, and I feel fantastic. I feel awesome. I feel like this is a new me and I uh, can't wait for this Saturday. It's going it's to be an exciting, uh, exciting fight, uh, a, new, uh, a new beginning for me. So it's nothing but, uh, nothing but blessings for me. That's what everybody's been saying, that you're going to leave the past behind and you're looking forward to an exciting future. And <laughs> but your stable mate, John Molina. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah every, the past is behind and, and, and I'm, I'm looking to a brighter future. I have a lot of good fights. I mean, I'm with the, the best manager in the world, uh, uh, Donnie Morinelli, and I have uh, the best promoter in the world, uh, um, Houston Tudor Promotions. And... Uh, I mean, we're gonna get the right fights, and we're training hard, and and, and, and that's all we gotta be. That's all you gotta put 100%, and the outcome out of that is gonna be, it's gonna be uh, a blessing. So I'm looking forward to it. I've heard training camp read really well, and I heard that um, in the Goose and Gym, it's freezing cold. Is that true? Oh, uh, well, if we were told you that, it's the opposite. It's like it's like 130, 120, and then we got a spar. It's uh, relentless. Joe Goosen does not put the heater down. He turns it up and tricks the thermostat to, to, uh, to rank it up at 130 in, in the valley. I, ne I never train in the valley, and it's, and it's hot over here. It's, it gets up to a 105, 108. And uh, training in an environment like that, Joe says, and I know it's going it's to benefit myself, and, and, and uh, it's going to be feeling like if I'm training in snow when I'm fighting. So. Um, you know, just the sacrifice I have to, I have to do, and, and it's going to pay off later. What can you tell us about your opponent, and what prediction do you have for your fight Saturday? I really don't know too much about my opponent. I, I just know that he's a tough fighter. Um, he's going to come in and uh, fight, and uh, I'm, I'm, really, I'm always willing, ready for the, for the opportunity and, 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 and for, the, for the challenge. And so I'm a fighter too, and I have over 264 amateur fights. I'm 14 and 0 with 12 knockouts. So um, it shows uh, that speaks alone. Says that I'm a fighter too. So uh, we're gonna fight, and, uh, and I can't wait for this Saturday. So, Speaking of your amateur career, you went to the Olympics. Now the Americans have gotten a lot of heat oh, with man. this latest debacle with the men's team, and thankfully the women are bringing home medals. What What do you think? can be done about U.S. boxing in the Olympics? I mean, I mean there's, a, there's a lot of things that it can be done. I mean, uh, we thought last year, um, our, our, our uh, 2008 was a disaster and stuff like that, and it comes out all the men's, and we only have one girl that's, uh, that's still in it. We're hoping, she's fighting for the gold medal round. But uh, for the men's, um, I don't think, I, I don't, I don't give, I don't put them all the pressure on them, because you know, it's, I, I was watching, the, it, it was just, Horrible judging and the officials. Aiba needs a, or the Olympic committee needs to clean out that committee and put new people in, honest people. Because uh, there's a lot of, um, of the, there's a lot of guys that on the, on, the, on the U.S. Olympic team should be fighting for a gold medal right now, and um, they just bad judging. All of them had fair, really bad judging and. It's it's a uh, it's a shame that you know all these guys go in there and, and put their heart and effort. It's once a, once in a lifetime deal, and uh, for someone else to to, to be uh, a charge of their the, the judging and scoring and take their dreams away. So I mean, um, the Olympic team, I, my hats off. You guys did an incredible job this year, and um, you know, look out for the pros. What advice would you give them in the transition to the pros? Uh, just you know, do what you do, slow it down a little bit, and you, you'll. You'll fit in real quick because I remember I used to throw a gazillion punches in uh, in, in an amount of a time and because you know it's only three to four rounds. So, um, but in pros you get you just take your time. So it's a little different, the whole different sport. 
but um, you know, it, uh, you'll, you'll break into it. So you as a professional boxer, I also know you have a political career. <laughs> You're a father of an adorable little girl. You, yes. you travel a lot. Yes. What else do you, outside of boxing, are there any other career goals you have? Uh, you know, right now I'm just, you know, focusing on, for the next uh, three, four years, just focus on uh, boxing and uh, give it 100%. And, um, you know, from that, um, the outcome of that is going to be a uh, It's going to be amazing. So I'm looking for a great career. And, um, you know, right now, um, just on my time off surfing and just golfing and stuff like that. But uh, or, or maybe TV or, or uh, I'll be a, a commentator on sports um, channel somewhere. Could you learn to love surfing or golfing more than boxing? Uh, <laughs> it's on my on my alone time. I like to do that stuff. But, uh, uh, I, I got to just, you know, be in the gym every day, 100% in boxing. So... You know, if I can get those victories on on, on these fights, so. All right, and one last message to um, your fans in East LA, SoCal, and beyond. I just want to say thank you for, um, to the fans. I have fans everywhere in England and Denmark and everywhere, East Los Angeles, especially and in California, Southern California, and Hanford 559. I just want to say thank you uh, for still supporting me and um, being there regardless uh, what kind of things are you know no one's perfect, what kind of things I went through and uh, but. Uh, Surely, I'll tell you this. Uh, it's a hundred percent. It's uh, a new me, and uh, you know, God's good, and, and, and He's blessing me, and He's still continuing blessing me. And I thank you very much for that. So, thank you. Thank you, Sean. So, thank you.